I got two plugs here. Let me cut in right there. So this line here, this is going to be a load for Saturday. Doggo. All right, guys, we are back, and it is beautiful in Pennsylvania today. We got 60 degrees. Now, granted, that's not hot enough for me, but it is what it is. So now that we're back, I got a bunch of stuff to do. You guys saw the center console and all that, so we're going to be pulling the center console back out. So here's the plan. I am, you guys see the Anderson cable right here, we are going to be wiring up the factory batteries to the welder batteries with, and then I'm also going to put a shut off somewhere up here so that I can shut it off. Basically what that's going to do is allow me to run the truck electronics and I'll get into this in a little bit, but it'll allow me to run the truck electronics and whatever I want while the welder charges the truck batteries so I could in theory leave the key on overnight. Um, and then I'm also going to run an extension cord from the welder itself back to behind the dash so that if I ever need heat, all I got to do is run a heat gun in the cab like I used to do, which I liked that setup. But you guys know me. I'm not just going to have to run that. Profanity. Um, I'm going to run it. We're going to have nice little prongs in the frame, which will have like these. This is what it'll look like. Okay. So that's how we're gonna do that. Now that I don't have today, but we are gonna at least run the extension cord a while, a while and get the um, routing down. And then same thing with up here, we'll have the batteries tied in and then somewhere on top of the aux tank, like right back there. I'll probably just put a positive shut off like right here. And then I can run that and we'll probably put the plug. Uh, if I don't replace this one, I'll probably have the plug coming out somewhere in here. I'd like to hard mount it so that it's just like a physical plug. But we will see, I'm gonna be pulling this out, replacing all three of the LEDs back behind in this. We're gonna be pulling all of this out. This is gonna get replaced, and then the one back behind is gonna get replaced with these. I have those on order as well. Just at least wanna get this thing all cleaned up, because that is disgusting. That's how I bought it. Get all that cleaned up. Get all this back here torn out, see where we're at. There is a plug down in there somewhere. Um, and we're gonna be... Re oh, it's right there. Yeah, we're gonna be replacing that with one of those plugs too so I can run my stuff back here, but there will be a mattress back here. So that's where we're gonna get started today. And then also I would like to gut this tailgate. And by that, I mean debadge, get rid of this, get rid of this. And we'll see, I might keep the high output diesel. I kind of like that because the 06 Cummins is a high output. The 04 and a half to 07 was the high output version of the 03, 04. And then yeah, anytime we need to use the Anderson cables, It'll either attach to this or I can have it attached to the truck and then this will be a common plug. I thought about getting a second set of Andersons and running them up here and just running a jumper, but I felt like that kind of would have been like half ass. Let's just do it permanent, do it once and make it look good. So that's kind of how we're gonna do it. So the other things we're gonna do is this inverter. Um, probably gonna move that somewhere. I gotta look. I know this space is taken up and then over here. So all this space is pretty much taken up, but uh, we're gonna have to cut a bunch of this out here. All of this is gonna get cut out, so that way I can run my four-wheel drive shifter. So we're gonna be making the collar for this and the four-wheel drive shifter. I've decided that what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut a slit out of the side and make it over here. Um, might be a little bit of a nuisance for leg room, but it is what it is. I'm gonna be pulling this piece back out today as well to put that little ashtray light in there because it's in here and I'm gonna try to make it fit in here. So let's uh, get this pulled out um, and then we'll get that pulled out. All right, we got our, let's, uh, let's show you guys. The harness, it's definitely tight, but we have our courtesy ashtray light. Everything's loaded back in here. I have unhooked the positive. So we're gonna redo these wires too. I wanna work on this four wheel drive shifter and get my center console cleaned up. Um, Got to figure out the measurements because this is going to come, I think, back one more notch. So we will just clear the seat. Got all the lights working. Again, um, one of the lights was just loose was the big problem. Uh, so that was kind of a nuisance. It's like, it's so hard to get these. I also put all my screws back in that I lost because I had part screws. Um, so yeah, next step, let's get this four-wheel drive shifter working because I really want one. Um, also, I'm going to extend those wires a little bit. I got butt connectors and closed end um, ends here. I think that's six gauge wire, six or eight. So we're just gonna lengthen that up. Next step is figuring that part out. Once 
once we figure out where I can kind of put this, uh, we can, like, I need to get rid of all that. Once we figure out that, I can put this back in with the four-wheel drive shifter. So we're going to have to cut the side of it out. And I'm probably going to cut the majority of in here out, which actually should not be overly hard. There's the three screws. We're going to set them in the cup holders. And before any of this stuff goes back in, I'm going to clean it. So let's, uh, let's make our nice cut here. I'm going to measure it first because I don't want to cut out more than I have to. All right, so we got our lines. We're going to be cutting this out here. Let me cutting right there. So this line here, hit that as straight as possible. We're going to ignore this line here. We'll clean all that up when we're done. So that will allow a full throw with the shifter. So what I'm planning on doing with this, I think is going to be cool as shit. All right. So this will sit like this and I'm going to cut this entire side out and let this be the thing on the side. So this will clip in, in the front and then pop in, in the back and it'll look factory. So what it's going to do, my goal here is to bring this up out the side and then up again. So yeah, I know what you guys are thinking leverage wise, but here's the thing. I'm not worried about it because this is on a pivot system. This cannot go side to side. It can only go back and forth. See that? It can only go back and forth. So even if it's over here, it should still be able to go in. No problem. We might fight for low a little bit, but we'll see if we have to adjust it or make any modifications like that. It is what it is, but I think this is going to work. So I'm going to get that cut out and then we're going to measure our height and see where we're at. I already pulled the boot off. So basically this is what we're working with. So we have plenty of height that we can pretty much take out of this. See what I mean? So that'll throw like that. We'll probably cut it. I'll have to do some measuring to see where I want to. It just needs to be high enough to clear all of this. I want it coming out like right around here. So let's, uh, let's make my mark. I want to center that right there. And then, actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's make it a little bit lower because we're getting close to the top. So let's let's do it right about here. Get rid of that. And then, remember, this flat section goes on the top on the dodges, so that's where I'm gonna match it to that. And then it'll pretty much sit like right around there. And also that'll allow me to cut out these bullshit holes because people are so lazy when they mount their brake controllers. They just screw shit into shit. So that looks like it'll center right there. And I think that's gonna look perfect. So what I'll do is I'll probably just take a hole and drill it straight through and that'll give us our first mark. But let's cut it, clean it up, see where we're at. All right, so, shit. We just need to notch it a little bit. I didn't account for the fact that this was twisted. So, it clears the whole way. Let's, uh, um, in theory. So we're gonna have to cut more out. We're gonna have to cut more out of the top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna even this out and I'm gonna trim out the rest of that. So if it wasn't for the dinging, it fits the whole way up. So, mind you, it doesn't have to clear the ball. So, pretty much where we're at, I actually will. I'm gonna, we're, we're good here. So, everything clears. I'm gonna clean all this up when it's done. Don't worry about that. I'm gonna put it in four low or at the very minimal neutral, match that line to that line. Um, we're gonna cut just above it because then we're gonna bring a 90 out and then we're gonna bring it up. So, it's gonna be close. I wish I didn't have to cut it so far up, but we do because that line will match just right there. So I'm gonna mark it and then we'll go make our cut. All right, so I cut it in half, got it all cleaned up there. Same with this one. Like I said, I hate how close it is to the ball. Um, I'm pretty sure to, to remove this ball, you have to remove this and there's a nut in the bottom of it, but we're not gonna do that. This will sit in there like so. This should be four low, so we are this is going to go way lower than that, to be honest, but I'm going to drill a straight hole through the side and then we're going to use that measurement to kind of line up 
center and center of this. Um, so we're gonna meet in the middle kind of deal. So you can see how there's a little bit of overhang on each side, not a big deal. Um, like I said, we're gonna shoot for right in the middle of that. If I shoot just around there, maybe favor, yeah, you know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll shoot for right about there. Line it a little over, um, but that'll give me my baseline as to where that's gonna be. All right, so about six hours later, we got this. Um, it's not perfect, but it's it works. I did put a screw in here and then I popped it back over. So we have it trimmed out, this, and then we gotta figure out something to go through. I found this in my scrap pile. Um, it's a little thick, but it only has one bend. Um, I also found this, an old handle for one of the old jacks that I had. We don't need that, but like, it's so close to fitting perfectly. Um, let's go test fit this thing. I'll show you guys what we got going on. All right, so here's what we got. That'll fit right there. And then pretty much, in theory, I didn't think about it. I forgot about the bend. I might just be able to... I fucked up. I should have done it around here and then made my 90 in there. But yeah, it fits. And it looks pretty decent. Um, obviously it's not going to stick out. I kind of want it to sit like right about here. So this will be down the shift knob be like right here, but we're slowly figuring out this is the first time I've done this. So, uh, yeah, I realistically, I didn't even account for that. So I don't know. We'll see. Let's just next time you guys see it, this should be welded somehow. All right. So got her welded. Smack it, beat the hell out of it so we know it's gonna stay. So, now that we got that, I'm gonna throw some paint on that and uh, cut this to length. So we'll see exactly where we wanna have it. Pretty much what I did, um, if you guys see, there we go. So if you guys see, see how there's a notch there? What I did was I left the bottom just like that and then I notched a circle into this so it could just butt up against and then I filled the gap in and it worked. So. Let's get it in there and do a test fit. All right, this has been an interesting one. So it fits. It's all in there and everything. So I have it kind of tight and I squeezed it and shit. So pretty much I think we're gonna chop it like right here. And then we're gonna try to bring it straight up. So let's see how this goes. Cause I'll chop it here and then I can use this as the rod. And then somehow finagle this thing on there all right so basically I'm gonna show you what I did before so this is gonna sit like this I put a notch and uh, what we're gonna do clean this metal up and then this will sit in there just like that I can put weld I made a notch at the bottom I can put weld up the side and then depending on my mood will determine on if I get into there um, if I do, the knob will be fucked, so I might end up just pulling the knob off and uh, welding it, which I do think that's what I'm gonna do, because then that can sit in there. I'll throw some MIG, MIG, just using the 220, 242, and uh, let's see how it goes. All right, there you go. Uh, before we throw the knob back on, you guys can see in there, there is a nut, and then this you can put in any direction so we don't have to worry about which orientation I welded this in. So that's perfect. I threw a slap coat of paint on it. Not worried about it. You're not going to see it anyway. And then I went and found these little lugs here that I think I'm going to use underneath uh, pretty much for these wires here, which should ideally make it a lot better. So like I said, it's disconnected now, but I think we're gonna put those lugs under here somewhere that I can extend uh, this and then we'll put these on the other side. So we'll snip this and then put a uh, little thing just to kind of make them longer and make it that I can take those out without these wires just hanging and flopping around. So I'm gonna work on that while I am waiting for the paint to dry. And then once those are in, We'll try to find a location to mount this. I want to make a mounting bracket for it. All right, so all those guys that doubted me, look at this. Four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive, neutral, four low, neutral, two-wheel drive. Works flawlessly. All right, I did cut this piece out just now, and I realized that these lugs 
I'm gonna pick a spot in here, put them where I can, and then we'll run the wires. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna put the lugs here, run the wires up through, and then we should be able to clean that piece out and throw it in. But yeah, guys, it's working out. Um, I still have this piece taken out. I think that was because of the plug. Yeah, I had this out because I was gonna, I took this plug out to see if mine would fit and it doesn't. But I was thinking about just taking one of these and just wiring in like, let me actually, I'll show you. If I can find one of these small enough, one like this, but a female, that would be great because then I could take that, I'm gonna run it and route it where I need to go. But for now, everything's together, everything's good. I just need to see where my clearances are at with this. So I'm just gonna throw these here and uh, see where we're at. But yeah, this is, this is fucking sweet, dude. Look at that. Nobody else has this that I know of. So I'm gonna wait until I have my new lugs because these don't uh, fit on the wire. But there you go, basically positive and negative. Yeah, they're a little close. That's kind of where I wanna put them, make sure that uh, everything's good. But yeah, they're tight, not going anywhere. And then, like I said, we will feed the excess off of off of the inverter. I just gotta find a place that I wanna route it. It should be long enough. This is where it's at right now. See how it kind of sits to the side. Um, we'll definitely change that. But for now, they both reach. Um, it's not really like it's gonna cause any problems or anything. It's like they're close, but they're not crazy close. This, like I said, is gonna get replaced with a lug. Same with this. But I'm gonna leave that there for now, just for like the test fit purposes. Uh, I got most of this cleaned up as best as I could. Uh, other than that, I think pretty much all we gotta do yet is clean the ashtray, or clean all this out, and then we can install it. And if my measuring's correct, it should fit. Puppy dog. I gave her a lot of freedom today. I gave her the long leash. Just She just ate, so she's probably gonna be wanting to go potty soon. Ain't that right, girl? All right, guys, so we got everything. We got that boy on there, we got this on there. I cleaned everything. I didn't clean this yet. Um, I didn't know if I was super worried about it, but I probably will clean that. This actually wasn't dirty in here, and this down here I think I wiped out at one point. This is fucking sweet. Not much side to side, but four wheel, two wheel. That's awesome. So now, next step, I think the last thing we're gonna do today is just route this extension cord from the welder. If you guys will notice, my personal generator. I got two plugs here, and then anytime I wanna run this thing, I can run this plug in there, and we'll do that, that female version uh, in the dash somewhere. Um, I'm probably, I might honestly hide that plug like down in here somewhere, or like right back in here, but check this out. Look at that. We got our little ashtray light. Anything else you guys wanna see? I don't think there's really much left to do. Oh, that's right, we gotta do the freaking tailgate. I'm gonna clean the tailgate off as well before the end of this video. Um, heat gun and something else on that, but yeah, let's get that guy plugged in. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I have this run back underneath of the air compressor, which I'm gonna replace that compressor with a bigger one eventually. But we got it run through and then it comes out this spot here, which like I said, we are gonna loom it once I figure out where it's gonna be because I'm gonna be shortening this up drastically and then replacing the plug end. But we're not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna find one on Amazon tonight and just order it. So we'll figure out where I wanna put it, but I want it somewhere easily accessible, uh, whether we put it like here or, I don't know. I also don't want it to be somewhere in the way. I mean, we could put it back in here. I don't know yet. We'll see. You guys give me ideas. Here's the back of this. Gonna get this off real quick. Shouldn't take very long, I say that. Um, this has to stay, unfortunately, because there is stuff behind it. So, it's unfortunate, but it's gotta stay. And at some point, I will put my Cummins logos back on the fenders. I just have not cared to do it. All right, we got all that bullshit off of the back. We got the four by four off. A um, Little bit of degreaser, heat gun, plastic razor blade, rag, and this guy here, by the way, these fuckers are expensive. And yeah, we're gonna leave that just uh, for shits and giggles. Why not, you know? Other than that, I think, I think I'm pretty much done for the day. I think we can go home, right, doggo? 
What do you guys think? How'd I do? Did I did I do a good job? Did I do a shit job? I mean, it works. It would be nice to get this gap closed a little bit. I mean, it's not 100% perfect, but I mean, uh, here's my view from the driver's seat. Damn, that camera quality is ass. That's even worse. Oh, the fucking sunlight. That's even worse. Well, here's my view. I'm using the accelerator. I have to really shift my leg over, but if I'm just driving normally and minding my business, it's there. Maybe we raise it up to be like right here. What do you guys think? I'll just kind of have it up here and then four wheel, slam it into the dash, but no, I, I think it's perfect where it's at. Actually, no, the last thing I was supposed to do was make a square for that, which since I already have the welder out, pretty much all I'm gonna do since I can't find the tube, I'm just gonna go cut off a piece that's like four inches, maybe five, cut it in half four times, and then just weld it around this. But other than that, this can wait. You guys don't give a shit about that. So give me some comments, guys. We are here all week. Next week, we got stuff booked up. So if you guys need anything, feel free. This is gonna be a load for Saturday. So I gotta go get another truck uh, put on there and then we gotta fix the brakes on the tr uh, trailer. Let me know what you guys think it could be. It's not even recognizing that there's brakes at all. It's saying that they don't even exist. So I don't know if it's a break in the wire uh, or what, I don't know, but this trailer is gonna be in here pretty much until I leave Saturday. So when we go pick the truck up tomorrow to put on here, I'm gonna back it in because I don't want any of his stuff getting wet. All of this, none of this is mine. And then everything else you see in the shop pretty much is mine. So it is finally all me. That's where we're at. So. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like the content you see and you need diesel repair or trailer repair or hauling or any of that stuff and you want to support the channel and support me and my business, this is where we're at. We're in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, and we fix trucks. See you guys. Appreciate you guys. Later. Doggo.